Let's talk about Nahitan Nandez of Cagliari. Uh, Romano broke the story a couple of days ago saying that um, he's a player that we're very much linked with. He's a very versatile player, can play centre mid, centre back, uh, right back as well. Um, mm. Sky Sports have been talking about it as well and they say Tottenham have not yet bid for Cagliari midfielder but he remains on their radar and there was another update yeah, Sky as Italy well. said yes go on Sky, um, Sky Italy saying that Tottenham are um, or Romano actually was talking about him yesterday and he said that uh, Spurs are preparing a bid for him of uh, between 25 and 30 million euros. Oh, here's the Sky Italy one. It says Tottenham Hotspur are close to making a 30 million euro bid. Uh, the offer will be 10 million uh, paid in loan with a purchase obligation for 20 million euros. Yeah, and Roma- that's in his Romano tweet. It says Spurs have approached Cagliari about Nahita Nandez as revealed yesterday. He's on Tottenham's list of potential new signings, but there's no official bid yet. Tottenham will soon decide whether whether to sign Nandez or not, and he's on the market. Price tag between 25 and 30 million euro um which is what romano is saying yesterday Do you have any idea about this guy no but from what i've read and what i've seen he seems like um one of these midfielders who is like decent to av- average to decent kind of passing ability and like shooting ability and tackling ability but he's got extremely strong um kind of um leadership and work rate and all this stuff which um in the in a in a team like Tottenham especially like for example he could e- he could very easily have be- been in midfield yesterday and like been part of that midfield and would have would have succeeded right but it's whether in other games like when teams are taking a different approach like whether he could suit those kind of games obviously i'm not like when a team is sitting back whether he could help break down a, a defense and stuff like that and add creativity he's not doesn't seem like a creative player he seems like a kind of seems like kind of like an ollie skip kind of player or like kind a of heavy thing. worker in the middle kind of yeah thing. And I guess that helps because at the moment, Hoybier and Skip are the ones providing the legs in midfield. Um, obviously, Delhi as, as well to an extent. But um, in terms of real proper hard-working uh, central midfielders that we have in the squad, you've got Hoybier and Skip. Maybe he feels like he needs another one just to add some legs in there in case uh, Hoybier and Skip burn out. I don't know. Maybe it's a case of um, to replace Sissoko if Sissoko is just about to be out the door as well. Oh, uh, yeah. And also that, which I'd hope so. I'd, um, so I don't weeks. know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know too much about him. I'm not going to lie. Um, he's obviously, he plays with Cagliari. He has 30 caps for Uruguay, and you know, Uruguay are a decent team. So it's not like that's hard, easy to do. Uh, 25 years of age, so is it a good age? But he seems like kind of player who will probably come for like a couple years, like do a good job, and then we'll sell him for like a tiny loss or something, or maybe a tiny profit or like something like, like that. Like a Didier Zakora signing. Kind of, something like that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a guy who's going to revolutionise us. He's going to like supplement the squad kind of thing um, and maybe do a good job in some games, do an average job in some other games, but always give 100%. Hmm. That's how I kind of feel this guy is. That's what the, that's the feeling it's I not, get with it's him. It's not really someone that really fills me with much uh, excitement. No. Um, that's for but sure. maybe he's a necess- one of your signings who's necessary. Maybe. If but I do feel like that. there are other positions that are much more needed than that. But he is, uh, in terms of a player, very versatile. So that could also be That's part also of it. maybe part of it. Centre back, right back, and centre mid. That feels like three holes. Yeah. So maybe he's maybe that's uh, maybe that's what we're looking at a player who can do a who can do a decent job in multiple positions. Um, and jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, but may yeah maybe. Um It'd be interesting to see how how because maybe we see him as a player who could cover the defensive positions as well, and maybe it lacks the it lessens the need to get in a defender or something. All right, well, there's another one that we're going to have to see how it plays out. Yeah.